All right, here we go. So this is going to be the first training video. And we're going to start the first dogfight right now. We're just going to go into a standard 50-50 game here. This video is about 15 minutes long. However, I may only take about 10 minutes of it for now anyways. Because I think we're going to get a fair uh, judgment of what's going on. So what's going on in this first dogfight? I just tried to cut you, which seemed to be successful. I did a uh, did a little upward spiral loop there. You'll see uh, right here. And I will. That's a cut right there. You go up, and then you half saw that, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. So you didn't exactly know how to correct for it, and then I did that, which was not a fantastic idea because that's sort of a head-on move, and since I. Uh, I'm notorious for being really bad at head-ons, so it's not a good idea for me to force head-ons. So right now I'm spiraling up, trying to cut you. And I'm always trying to cut you, and, and uh, that's something all the good pilots will, will do. So I'm just trying to follow your, your ECM right now. And basically, whenever you're not on ECM, my eyes are going to be on that air radar. I will very rarely actually uh, take my eyes off the screen. It, it's just going to be watching that air radar, and then I will move accordingly. So right now we're still just dancing around in 50-50 game, but I most likely will slowly gain on you just because of my speed advantage, because I do have the quicker speed on my side. And sure enough, I'm on your tail now, and I'm not sure if it has advanced since two weeks ago. However, at this point two weeks ago, you did not know what you were doing. And as we talked about it, you just weren't confident enough to make the right move. Now right there, that was a dubbed down version of what we call the nerve, the nerve cut. Because it's not a cut at all, actually. Right there is when you went back. And, and let me have a huge angle. So I just rewinded that quickly there. And you can rewind uh, as you please also. And now basically you're just trying your, your annoying little half Dylan. But I am following it this time. And right now is the point where you could do something. If you cut properly. But you just... You didn't. You just don't know what to do. And right there, there wasn't really any situation where I could have pointed out specifically where you could switch. In that situation, you would have had to hard scissor and make an opportunity, and that that would be difficult. So we're gonna launch into the second or third dogfight here. Not sure. Not sure which one. And so we start, and we'll dance around a bit. That's my standard start. I start like that. Every single match, unless I see the other team doing something, and I will adjust accordingly. But that is my standard start. Straight up. And there's no one, I've never encountered no one that just gets me off the start. The, like when I've dogfighted, like, Sobek. Um, he, he, he just gets me up through, you know, consistently more reliable maneuvers moves. Now right here, I just sort of messed, fumbled that one up. I did a uh, did a cut on the wrong side and then I did this strange looking move. So now we're at 50-50 again. And it could go really either way right now, but because I'm trying to cut you and you're not trying to cut me, I'm gaining angles very quickly. So, like that move right there, and then you go down, that is not a very good move. And you could switch right now, but you don't. You just keep going. Or actually, you did. No. <laughs> wow. I spoke too soon. However, you didn't follow it with another switch. Now you're just looping. So you have to switch right now. And then... They that Oh, there. That is why... That is why... I just rewinded it there. You're going to see. This is exactly why what I'm talking about. You just make switches at the at the wrong time, I guess. Because I'm about to make a cut switch. I'm like, okay, I'm switching out of here because I want to make a cut. And then you do that at the same time. And it gives me this ginormous angle that even I can't. Well, actually, I didn't get you, but... 
Um, I will in a moment, most likely. Yeah. So that, that right there is essentially why you lose half the matches. Now, I don't know how how better you've gotten in the past two weeks, uh, but, but two weeks ago, it, it looked like that. A lot. So basically what we've seen here is that you are 50-50 game. Solid enough. We haven't really seen your offense because you haven't gotten on me. Uh, but you say that's that's decent enough, and then it's just your defense. Now, right now, we're going to jump into some cat and mouse, which is a good opportunity um, to show how to really combat an effective defense. I, I played against that guy, Winther, today, and uh, my defense absolutely demolished the poor guy because he hasn't seen anything like that because he hasn't played in the new Battlefield 3. So what happened right there was, I'm going to rewind it. And... Okay, we're back. Now I'm going to show you what exactly I do. As you'll see on the radar, this is what Hamlet was talking about. As soon as I need... I'm trying to get your your jet, your blue jet, like right there, boom, it's parallel. And then it's off. So... My objective is to make that little switch. It's parallel, and then you're, you're off. And with, with the people who can follow a, a tad better... I would have to instantly rinse and repeat that over and over again. I mean, for you it took twice, but I think you're better now. Uh, but don't take that the wrong way. Um, but uh, at the at the time, your following talent was not was not supreme. And now I'm back on you. So hopefully we'll reset here, and we can show that again. Now. You know what I should do? I should grab a clip from the Winter Dog fight. However, I do not did not record that. That's unfortunate. Because that was some good showcasing right there. Anyways. Now we're gonna get back on me. We'll just have to work with this. And up I go. Making sure you have a good lock on me. And I'm gonna move into a quick scissors here. I'm gonna try and make the angle I need and as soon as I can here, I'm going to go like that and try to get your jet parallel to me. So see, I'm always moving to try and get your jet parallel to mine. So your jet on top of mine or your jet directly next to mine. I do not want a standard scissors. It's not what I'm going for. So then I made my actual ECM switch there. And that just completely rid, rid, uh, rid it up. So I guess I'll go back to that one more time, making sure you have a good lock, and we'll we'll see this once more. And hopefully my bandicam trial doesn't run out after 10 minutes. Really need to get this cracked. So as soon as I can, see your jet is parallel, and then I switch, make it parallel again, and then once I see that you've kind of lost me. I hear the swish again, and I ECM, and that's just going to completely lose you, and if I do it correctly, or to my hopes, I should actually get on you. Now, in that case, you did react appropriately, and, and it is still 50-50, so that's good, and now we're just going to dance around again until we reset. Am I gonna go on you here, or or what's going on? Guess I'm going on you. Now here you go. Now I can almost guarantee you will not make any big moves, but I'm gonna try and tell you where you could. Now right here, I would suggest you going into an aggressive scissors. Well, maybe passive-aggressive, but aggressive enough that I can't get a shot on you. Just enough so that you're going to make an angle for you to switch. Like, like you're, you're, you're kind of doing it right now. But, like, right now, you need to switch right now. Then you need to switch again. And then you need to switch again. Um, or switch right now. Like, that move can work if you know when to dive down, like, as soon as the enemy does not see you anymore. Instead of waiting too long and hesitating. Like, you need to just make quick 180 twice, which, I mean, I'm almost overlapping you here. Um, like that, that's good. Now you gotta go again right now. Flip. 
Alright, sorry about that, but my Bandicam trial just expired, so I need another 10 minute segment here. So we're getting back to approximately where we started, and I was just saying how you need to constantly be switching instead of just looping when you don't know what to do, and I'm sure you know that right there, that was a fantastic switch. Fantastic switch. The problem is, you don't do it again. You do that. You just go back into loops. Um, so, against a good pilot, those switches can work. However, they will cut you unless you switch again immediately after that. So I'm trying to daunt and cut right there. That doesn't really play out uh, to my expectations. But you do again. That That is good. But you need to switch again right here. Which you did. And then right here again. Which, which you sort of did. Uh, but right here. That was the wrong. You should have gone up in that case. In, instead of down. So, these are, these are some funky moves, you know, I think you, you, you lost me there. Oh, well, we're not, but you could have. But now you need to switch right there. Flip around. So, I think you're getting the idea here. You're seeing, we're seeing a, uh, a trend, and that was just, I, I didn't even, um, <laughs> and there was another nerve cut, um, but we're seeing the trend here. You've seen plenty of examples where you just got a switch, like very aggressively, very constantly. And in the future, maybe I can I, I can post actually a video of me defending against like Mad or ECM or somebody, um, in in a in kind of in my defense because it is effective. Most a lot of pilots do follow that trend. However, it is effective. And it's a lot easier to do than in Battlefield 3, I'll tell you that. So we're just going to keep doing the same thing here. I'm going to kind of just follow you in your loops here. So these loops are great for stalling, but they're not so in, I mean, in CBs these would work great, but in dogfights you won't get anywhere with straight loops. I mean... You can be super annoying with it if you have perfect speed. Now, right there, I just kind of fumbled, um, and you, you gave me some room. But, you, you again, you just went into a scissors after that. I mean, if you just keep going into scissors, I'm just going to keep cutting into you. Now, that was good, but you need to switch right here, which, which you did that instead. You crashed. So, I think you probably got distracted there because I was a little too low. Um, so, yeah. Am I... I got a dogfight, Honey Badger. No, no, no. Oh, I am. Oh my God, here's a okay dogfight against Honey Badger. Yes, here we go. We get to watch. Now, Honey Badger is obviously top five, and is a demon to be reckoned with. Now, I do believe I really screw up somewhere here, and he almost kills me. Uh, I'm fairly confident I remember that, but the recording ended. So we won't get to see that. Fantastic. So we almost saw me against Honey Badger, who is uh, easily top five. Actually, that was sarcasm. He's not. Uh, however, yeah. So that's the end of the training video. Hope it was enjoyable. And uh, that's a super cool background. A guy named Yipfer made me.